tossing salad. You guys are really missing out on a gold mine right here. <laughs> Cause this is for people who are freaky, who are ready to explore, who are ready to take their sexual life to the next level and just explore their bodies. In fact, the region is actually rich in nerve endings. Girls don't go and say, ew, oh, I can't play with this back door. Some chick out there is playing with his back door. If you don't know, know it. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane Lawrence and I come with a lot of juicy content. Before I start, I know that you clicked so fast because of the title, but nevertheless, I have a second channel where I vlog about my real life and everything. So if you want content different from, you know, sexual content and relationship content, please go over and make me reach 1000 subscribers. I want to get to 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. And I know that you can do this in just one minute if you take your time to pause if you really do love me you would do that for me all right so head over to my second channel right away and just click on the subscribe button watch some of my content and get me to 1000 i'll be really grateful if you can do this now getting back to our topic for the day we're talking about tossing salads okay i know this can be really gross for some people i know that some people think it's a controversial topic to even delve into but nevertheless i am going to delve into it because you guys are really missing out on a gold mine right here <laughs> So tossing someone salad might be more sanitary than you think it is. And in case you don't know what I mean by tossing salad, then here we go. It is typically a sexual activity involving two persons where one partner uses their tongue or their mouth to stimulate um, their partner's back door like the rim of your partner's back door. It's probably more sanitary than you expect it to be, all right? I know that there are some controversies surrounding it, and for some people, it is considered a taboo, and usually, you know, a lot of people frown at it, or the thought of it is rather very, very, very gross, saying that that's where you poop from. But hey, if it is done correctly, it is the most pleasurable zone, most pleasurable sensation that you would ever get or give to your partner I am telling you for facts all right but first how do you toss a salad I know that's the question for for some of you who haven't explored that direction before now I'm not going to mince words here right because this is for people who are freaky who are ready to explore who are ready to take their sexual life to the next level and just explore their bodies I'm talking about married couples all right because whatever you do in your marriage is permissible that I think. So tossing salads just involves you, you know, gently and slowly running your tongue in a secular motion around the rim of the second door or the back door, whatever you would like to call it. All right. That's the back door that is not the juicy port or not the scrotum or not the um, um, joystick. All right. The back door. I want to keep it safe here. I want to keep it really clean here because of the community guidelines. All right. So follow me. Now, if you want it and your partner desires it, you could also gently penetrate the second door with the tip of your tongue. You could increase the speed and the pressure if it feels good for both of you. But I don't recommend that, honestly, unless you know that you've properly washed your second door very well and you're sure that your partner has washed your second door extremely well or better still you could use an aura dam to protect your tongue and your mouth while poking in and out of your partner's second door all right because there are some invisible bacteria right there okay and you don't want to take in anything that is who not safe now there are other fun ways to play back there and that involves you using a finger to penetrate the door while you know doing some leaking in between or basically you're just maximizing the pleasure experience by reaching forward with your hands and applying gentle pressure on the perineum or the powerhouse the powerhouse is the cleat the um, um perineum is a space between the coochie or the scrotum and the second door all right that space between the scrotum and the back door 
okay? Because, I mean, I am all about multitasking on your partner's body. And the more that you can multitask at the same time on your partner's body, the more pleasurable, the more explosive, the more intense their orgasm is going to be. Now, whether you like it or not, whether you like to believe it or not, the truth is there are stimulation worthy areas all over our bodies and the second door is not excluded. All right. In fact, the region is actually rich in nerve endings. Which, which basically makes it super, super sensitive to stimulation. Now, do you want to know one fun fact? No, okay, right. You've got to know that the main nerve in your perineum, that's the area between your coochie and the second door, is called the um, pudendal nerve. And only 20% of its nerve endings are motor fibers. And the rest are sensory fibers, meaning that the perineum and the what do they call it now the second door that's that's the rim of the second door is basically a pleasure gold mine that you probably are missing out on plus if you're a woman tossing your man salad can offer you easy access to his pea spot of course i have talked about the pea spot in one of my videos if you haven't seen it i'm going to put a link up here so that you can see how to locate so that you can find out how to locate your partner's um spot okay i know some women would say i know when i did that video some women said oh i can't put my hand in there whatever whatever <laughs> whatever if you really do love your partner and you want to see them really sexually um satisfied you would do um you would do some things you would do you would do whatever it takes i mean like because there are chicks out there who would just do crazy more things than you ever even imagine for your man. And that's why they, you know, sometimes run out to cheat. But regardless, a man will cheat if he wants to cheat. Even if you're giving him the best sex of his life, he would cheat. All right. So it only takes a man who is... It only takes a partner who is disciplined and has chosen to love you regardless of how he feels about someone else out there. Because the truth is you would always get attracted to someone out there um, that is not your husband or that is not your wife. It's just nature. But what makes a difference is you knowing that you can't go outside of your marital vows to do what would hurt your partner. Because if you do love your partner, you will never do anything to hurt them and hurting them is cheating on them. I, I think I am deviating, all right? So let's just get back to the topic, tossing salad, okay? So now let me explain to you where the pea spot is. The pea spot, which is commonly known as the prostate gland, is some sort of a walnut-sized gland. And according to research, it is located between the bladder and the rectum. It is considered the equivalent of the G-spot to a man, and it can be stimulated by playing with his back door. Just don't go and say, ew, oh, I can't play with his back door. Some chick out there is playing with his back door. If you don't know, know it. And it doesn't make you gay if your woman plays with your back door for all the men out there feeling all macho like it doesn't make you feel gay in fact you're losing out on some pleasurable gold mine right there so to all the married couples out there i need you to know something right there's all kinds of pleasure potential just waiting to be untapped in that arena so go ahead if you want to and explore that part of you and you know add tossing salad to your bedroom menu you will love it you will love it oh try it and let me know in the comment section <laughs> only for the married people okay i'm all about the married ones now i know the common deterrence to tossing salad is poop of course we don't need science to tell us that you know poop exists from that you know um second door which invariably leaves it with you know some kind of a bad but but light to it all right and honestly a gross reputation now i know the question on your mind right now is that is there any risk to having you know that mouth to butt action which could invariably lead to poop in the mouth type of situation now this is it the answer is a little bit complicated and this one actually you know warrants a quick science recap to come into play now let's start with the basics right 
you need to realize that poop doesn't just hang in your rectum and the rectum ch and the rectum is a chamber that connects your colon that is your large intestine to the um, back door that's the opening of the back door or where the back door is okay the food waste that has passed through your stomach and your small intestine is stored in the large intestine until there is enough of it to warrant you know a bowel movement now once enough has been built up your colon that's your large intestine contracts and pushes the stool into your rectum and your brain gets that signal that you need to use the bathroom so what that means is that there is no poop hanging out near your second door 247 it's only there when it needs to be expelled in which case you can handle your business the only situation here is that some you know poop matter might just be left behind in the process of pooping that's if you do not clean well and that's why i advise people that when you go to this when you go use when you go poop make sure that you're not using just tissue because tissue tissue paper will not clean you know your second door properly use water you could also use water and soap to wash the poop away to make it properly cleaned because as a matter of fact the fecal matter um, might be visible or invisible so this also means that there are some risks to you having some poop in your mouth or in your tongue so if that's something that you and the person that you're connecting don't really want to risk having then avoid penetrating number two with a tongue but then again i need you to know that there are also microscopic fecal matter that can still come in contact with your mouth it's not just inside the back door it's around it too so the best solution is you and your partner can always take a quick shower before engaging in that play just to make sure that things are clean and tight before you guys delve into that action and then don't you forget about the dental dams dental dams are really great options if you really want to be safe so just note that the second door isn't just associated with poop all right they are also associated with all the bacteria that goes along with poop bacteria that many of us have been taught will make us sick if it gets anywhere near our mouths but this too is also more complicated than it seems all right for starters there are bacteria everywhere on our bodies in and on our bodies including our mouths our stomach around our number two and much more a lot of bacteria is good for some parts of our body but in the right places so you don't want to take a bacteria from here into another place that doesn't need that bacteria to inhib to to, uh, to to stay in there so while there's definitely gastrointestinal bacteria hanging out around you know your partner's second door and while you definitely might get some of that bacteria in your mouth during tossing salad the odds are that that bacteria wouldn't necessarily make you sick all right but then again there is a possibility that it can definitely make you sick so if your partner has been experiencing any gastrointestinal you know irregularities like poops that don't look like they usually do poops that maybe are coming more or less frequent than they usually do and you know they have like um um eating back doors you know just stay away all right just stay away <laughs> these can all be signs of bad bacteria hanging out in your partner's second door and you don't want to risk that because you might get sick so before getting down to business have a quick chat with your partner about whether you know their poops have been regular lately of course it's not going to be a comfortable discussion to have with your partner but then again if you're comfortable with your partner i mean there isn't anything that there shouldn't be anything that you both cannot talk about way down to poop do you get what i mean so you need to really talk about that if you're already planning on getting up close and personal with your second door or they are already getting you know set to play with your second door it can't be that awkward to have a quick chat with 
your partner about their GI health. You know what I mean? Let's talk about STIs. What about STIs? Can you contract one STIs or any STIs from tossing salad? Of course you can. As it is in a case with, you know, basically any sex act you can definitely contract STIs from tossing salad. Some of the, and some of the uncomfortable um, infections that you can contract from tossing salads are, you know, oral um, gonorrhea, you can have herpes, you can, you could have um, chlamydia, you could have um, HPV, you can have a lot. So you need to be very sure that your partner is healthy from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, all right? So if you're unsure, you could always skip out tossing salad or use protection like um, dental dam. Now, dental dams are like um, flexible sheets. They are made of um, latex that can be placed in between the mouth and the second door. And like many forms of contraception, dental dams can lower your risk of contracting STIs. And you can also purchase them you know, in the condom departments of any supermarket, or you could get them in a pharmacy, all right? So if you're looking to try this out, just know that there are risks involved, baby. There are risks involved, and you need to be really certain that you're doing this with your man and not with a stranger that you just met around the corner, okay? So that would be it. Let me know in your comment section if you've ever tried this or you're willing to try it or it's just gross and you never think of doing it. It's not worth it. I just want to know if you're freaky or not. Until next time, do have a swell time. Don't you forget to, um, you know, follow my second channel. Just like, um, subscribe. Please get me to 1,000. I know you guys can do this. If you think I'm worthy enough to earn your subscription in my second channel, please do that. I want to get to 1,000. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.